Creating is my happy place. I will go there any chance I have. Trust your paintbrush for me has become my motto. What I've learned is stop holding back because wow, where can you go with this? I went to school in Ontario, uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and I became a goldsmith. I'm a graduate goldsmith. From there, I decided, well, I know how to paint, so I'm going to design jewelry. And then when we moved to the States, I became a housewife. And I had stopped painting for 15 years. My husband decided to run the Boston Marathon in 2013, I believe it was, and that's the year that I almost was blown up with people. I was at the finishing line when the bomb went off. I remember getting up going, this is not a dress rehearsal. I, uh, I always wanted to paint someday, so this is the someday. If I had to describe my style between the cartoonish and surrealism fun, I would say saturated fun. I started doing little doodads, more uh, cartoonish. And then mixed media came and at one point I was saying, I want to paint on something that I've never seen before. I'm using objects in my mixed media that are what I would call extremely ordinary and uh, that people want to get rid of. And as for the Scrabble pieces, well, it allows me to incorporate words, but not really. And you can see it, is it part of the art or is the art on top of it? Well. It's all art, and that's where the pieces that is behind me comes from. So what's in red on it is PCH, the 55, the 73, and the 405. And I kind of put points of interest that I find interesting. It's been kind of like sculpting my ideas in reality. I want to do things that are unique and fun and that I can't wait to get up in the morning to go paint. Um, and so the city's done that for me. And one of my passions is vintage cars. The first piece I did was the piece for the utility box. It's called Flying Down the 55. It has the VW van. Then there's a mini on it that's purple and it's, uh, it has a license plate that says psychedelic. And it's got that sort of shimmering diamond in it. And I, that car is like the bomb. One of the recurring theme you'll see is the flying beagle. He's a basset hound, but who cares? That dog kind of follows me everywhere. <laughs> I don't know why in my head. With Nutty Nutty Goat Hill. I wanted to do something with goat because this is Goat Hill area. I thought, okay, maybe I should do the donut shop. A red pickup truck that I see that is somewhere like on the east side coast of Mesa. And I put it all in a painting and then I submitted it to the city. But uh, the city's really kind of nudged me out of my comfort zone and pushed me somewhere else, and it's fun. Something that helped me out, well, I would say my friend Nathalie. <laughs> and Nathalie um, kept pushing me. I think in some ways you need that person. You need that person to say, hey, your status quo right now is not working for you and you need to do something. My husband once in a while will say, well that's crazy, but why not? <laughs> and it's that why not that's really, that's where you create something a little different. Why not? When person looks at my art, I want them to start smiling or just get, get the irony. But I always look for the positive. It's very important to me. Like I painted my dog, he's an escape artist and he's kind of a bad boy. So I painted him like with sunglasses and a jean jacket looking at you with sunglasses that reflect the beach. Because for him, the outlook is always great. So he is a bad boy. but. I want people to get it, and most of the time they do. So I want them to feel that joy, that color brings me, that what I see in my head, <laughs> and I want them to feel that moment. <laughs>